Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry for the delay. Um, me confirman, guys, si me logran escuchar, because eh, tengo un par de... Good evening, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. Sorry about that. He eh, tenido un par de dificultades técnicas uh, para entrar, but I guess I'm good now. So, eh, solo me confirman, guys, si me logran escuchar bien o me escuchan doble. Like, my voice. ¿Se escucha doble? No, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Very, very nice. Yeah, because... Eh, I'm from my phone too, and um, I just wanted to make sure because que no se estaba duplicando el audio. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for joining. Really nice seeing you today. Really nice to have you. Welcome to session number eight. And though it's really nice to have you. Hey, Carlos, thank you for joining back. I'm really happy to see you. Um, and uh, espero que siga mejor. I hope you're better. I hope you are uh, feeling a little better. How you doing, guys? Como les está yendo en su miércoles? Is your Wednesday okay? Is your Wednesday good? Not so good? Tell me about it. How is it? How was it? Todo bien? Are you doing okay? Yes, todo bien, teacher. Ya recuperándome un poco. Nah, qué bueno. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so um, thank you guys. Uh, thank you the ones who are writing in the chat, you know, los que tienen dificultades to like, or the ones who are working. Gracias, yeah, gracias Karen. Karen. Thank you so much for that. And uh, creo que algunos compañeros también are gonna be listeners, but thank you so much for that. All right, so we are gonna get started with session number eight today. Vamos a trabajar en las actividades para el día de ahora. Um, so we are still like pending a little bit with un par de temas como can, could, vamos a revisar may, and we are going to check might as well. Uy, qué raro, okay. Give me just a moment. I don't know what's going on, but my, okay, wait. My computer piensa que es viernes, you know, because ya está como... <laughs> That's ya está directa. Qué raro, you know, de repente se abrió otra cosa, no was like, wow, what's going on? And si no he tocado nada, but anyways, hopefully, uh, entienda que no todavía, no, no es viernes, right? <laughs> so that happens. Okay, guys, so uh, parte de las actividades, part of the activities uh, we're going to be working today on. Están con la parte de my, me. Um, vamos a trabajar también listening. We're going to be working a little bit listening and a little bit of speaking as well. So uh, let's get started, guys. The first activity I have for you is the following. Um, it says here, vamos a trabajar un poquito con general vocabulary. And here we have talk about the picture, right? So guys, take a look at this picture. And tell us, what can you tell us about the turtle? ¿Qué nos pueden contar de la tortuga? What can you tell us about this turtle? Anything that comes to your mind, any idea you may have, give it to us, please. No lo escriban, don't write it. Um, intenten decirnos anything, eh, palabras, oraciones, o lo que puedan armar, that would be really, really nice. Si pueden armar oraciones completas, that would be even better. So what do you think? about this turtle. Any volunteer? Do we have any victim? Do you like turtles? Turtle? Mm -hmm. Turtle yes. is beautiful. It is a pet, pet, pardon. Ah, no, no es mascota, okay. ¿verdad? Mm, I don't know. Uh, it's Maybe. pet is aquatic. Okay. Ah, it's aquatic. It's aquatic. It's a reptile. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. So it's an aquatic animal. Uh -huh. It can be a pet, yes. 
Is uh, it is Juan Antonio? Live in ocean. It lives in the ocean. Yes. Are they big? Are they small? Uh -huh. What else? Yes. Is it, it, it is a small? Or, uh, no, okay. bueno, si es de mar, es big. <laughs> Okay, the ocean one. Yeah. It's big. Okay, they are big. The ocean okay. is big. Okay, it is big. Carlos? Is defense. 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 Oh, in defense. Oh, okay. So it is an, an in defense. Um, okay, an in defense animal. All right. Defense in swimming ocean. Ah, okay. You can swim in the ocean, yes. What do they eat? Do they eat vegetables? Do they eat fruit? Or what do they eat? Vegetables. Okay, vegetables? They eat vegetables? Have you ever had uh, a total? Nadie te dio tortugas? Nobody has ever had turtles at home? No. no. Okay. Juan? No, teacher. Joan Sebastian. They eat, they eat every, everything. <laughs> okay, they eat everything. I had one when I was a little girl, but we gave uh, letters. So we gave pieces of lettuce, but I don't really know what they eat. So I have never thought about it. Okay, guys, so they can swim in the ocean, you said. ¿Qué más pueden hacer? What can they do? Like nothing else? Do they have more abilities? ¿Cómo se dice en el arte? Swim. Mm -hmm. Swim. Okay, okay, so they can swim, they can they can live in the in the ocean, in the water, and they can live in the land, right? Uh, so that is part of the benefits of this animal. Okay, very good guys. Let's go to the next picture. Describe the picture. Look at the following. And here we have, oh, look at this. So we have Puses Ivan says the turtle is very pretty. And human eat eggs. Oh, that's bad. You got a really good point there. Okay. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the pupusas. So what can you tell us about pupusas, guys? What's your opinion? Where can you find the best uh, pupusas in the country? Delius. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Carlos, cuéntenos, telas, telas. <sighs> Sin pena, guys. Díganos de las pupusas. So, do, do you have a favorite flavor? Do you prefer cheese pupusas? Or do you prefer uh, beans and cheese? Or have you ever tasted um, mora pupusas? Um, or a different, like, flavored? So, cuéntenos, guys, tell us about it. Remember lo que decíamos ayer, taste es para comida, right? De probar. So, when we're talking about food, we use the word taste. Okay, so, guys, what do you think? What is your opinion on pupusas? Do you like pupusas? No? Yes. 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 I like to eat pupusas, uh, cheese with pepper, chile, jalapeño. Ah, okay, okay. That's yeah. really crazy, I think. <laughs> Do you like <laughs> a spicy, a spicy food? Yes, I like. Ah, okay. I, I like to que el curtido pique. Ah, okay, so it's spicy. Uh, there is no word uh, to say um, curtido, right? 
So people normally say, they say the same, they say curtido, but we can call it like, a, um, like um, cabbage salad or something like that. Or let's call it curtido because uh, there is no way. So, uh, okay, I really like it too. So, but I, I like jalapenos, you know, I really like peppers. So I like pupusa with the, the whole pepper. <laughs> So that's really nice. Uh, remember that the spicy is picante, right? Cuando hablamos de comida too. Uh, guys, what else? Give us your opinion. What do you think about pupusas? Teacher, I like pupusa. I like pupusa the keto. Keto. Mm -hmm. What is that? Keto is is eh, nothing eh, da, sería masa sin nada de masa sin okay. nada de arroz es keto una pupusa keto wait you need to explain that to us <laughs> okay no flour Teacher. no flour no, no. harina no Teacher. dough no yes okay mm -hmm. entonces Ajá. qué lleva But, so eh, that cheese Okay. That um, cheese, uh, mm, uh, pote, uh, ¿cómo se llama esto? Se me ha ido. Zucchini, se me ha ido el nombre. Zucchini. Ya, yeah, zucchini. Eh, uh -huh. Revueltas. Y es, es, es okay. revueltas y de frijol. O sea, end, okay. end and cheese sería, ¿verdad? Okay. But, but if it is no flour, no dough, no. no dough, right? Like nada de harina. Mm -hmm. That means that. You exactly. put the zucchini mm -hmm. and then you put the cheese inside. Yes. Ah, yes, okay. yes. Que tu uh, only, only. Oh, yes. Oh, that is new for me. <laughs> wow. It's guys, delicious. Oh, okay. Can you prepare them? Can you cook? Yes. Yes. Are you on a diet? Es para dietas? <laughs> Eh, no, es que soy alérgica a la, a la, al gluten. Chale, oh, gluten. Pero sí, oh. o sea que también, también sé yo que, que alguna gente, alguna gente las hace así, pero en yeah, realidad a mí me hace la daño. dieta keto, but no, no like no, no, no. keto. Ajá. Wait, ajá, so ajá. Silvia. No, yo pero, también... pero esa. Ajá. No, cuéntenos, pelas. Ajá. Ajá. Es que lo que pasa es que yo tengo una, un, un padecimiento en la piel, psoriasis. Entonces, ah, okay. eh, a mí me dan esteroides. Y por eso me, me limitan de lo que son las harinas. Oh, ok. Y yeah, por el esteroide. And, ok. Ajá, ajá exacto. So, but, pero, no por, pero sí es alérgica al gluten, too. Yes. Al gluten, oh. a la harina de arroz, a la de maíz. Okay. Normalmente no, si comino, si como, si como arroz, eh, después padezco. Entonces, oh, no, you're, you're yo no Oh, so uh -huh. no Pero eso no quiere decir que uno va a ser delgado. Ajá. No, no claro, pero eso no quiere decir el... que uno va a ser delgado. Claro, por la por el... uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. Oh, uh -huh. so no cookies, no pupusas, no tortillas, no bread, no pan dulce, nothing. No. No, oh. nothing. Y siempre quiero, quiero, quiero pecar, pero viera que se me hace difícil. Yeah, because <laughs> piensa en el, en Por todos lados hay pancita. Ah. Yeah, I know, mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really I, sorry. I like the, the pupusas. <laughs> ah, yeah. Sí, pero okay. son muy ricas. Las recomiendo. A principio, sí, a principio creí que no podía. I, I, I don't cook it. Da pupusa. Ok. <risa> Pero. You found sí, a way. Sí se pudo. O sea, es algo. Ajá. Es como una tortita. Así como hacemos uh -huh. las tortitas. Eh, yo sé que hay gente que hace, quiero ver, tortitas tortita de pito, tortitas uh -huh. de. Uh -huh. ¿Qué? He visto yo, hay gente que hace unas tortitas de, de vegetales. Quiero ver qué otra cosa he visto que hacen. Tortitas um, de, de flores de sote, algo así son, or, no llevan, yeah, ajá, me imagino, ah, cabal, potatoes también, ajá, ajá, exactly, okay, 
Wow, really interesting. I, I really like it because I'm learning a lot. <laughs> so interesting, really interesting. Okay, so guys, ya han hecho alguna vez this kind of new pupusas? Do you follow um, any specific, or do you put any specific ingredient? So thank you, Silvia. Creo que aprendí something new today. Eh, I'm sorry, eh, Carlos, creo que iba a mencionar algo. I thought you were going to mention something. Hi, Joel. Great to see you. I Hi, think I saw Maynard. So... How are you, Joel? What is wrong? Is your is your hand okay? Sí, que me operaron ayer, teacher. Oh, sí. really? I, wait. Ah, no, ayer no lo vi. I didn't see your camera yesterday. Pero está bien. Sí. Are you okay? Sí, fíjese, estoy recuperando que era una pequeña operación de la mano, que es un quiste ganglionar en la muñeca. Ayer me operaron en la, ajá, operaron en la mañana. Ya en la tarde salí de la operación, pero gracias a Dios es todo bien. Ah, eh, okay. Me han dejado unos 15 días de recuperación, pero ahí estamos siempre escuchando. Ah, ok. Ya, ¿Es la de... derecha? ¿The right hand or left yes. hand? Yes, el left hand. Ah, okay, okay. That, that's good. I mean, because uh, no sé si es diestro. Sí, sí, diestro. <laughs> Para okay. molestar. Sí. Ah, that's good. Uh -huh. Si hubiera sido la otra mano, creo que hubiera sido más complicated for you. Oh, but, but I'm glad to see you. Sí, de repente le vi, pensé, uh, the first thing I thought was la clavícula, you know, or like, or something no. like that. Ajá, no fue quebrado, sino que es como aquí que le sale como un quiste, me dijo el doctor, que una articulación se, y sale como una pelotita, entonces okay. la abren. Pero ya estaba, ayer me la so... sí, ya estaba programada. Sí, ya estaba programada, ya estaba programada. Ya estaba programada. Wow, sí. so gracias por acompañarnos. Thank you, porque me imagino que está en, en incapacidad en everything, so thanks a lot. Sí. Lo bueno es que va a tener bastante tiempo, you know, para sus tareas, eh, para la universidad, I guess, uh -huh, mientras se recupera. Eso, eso le digo a mi familia, es que hay que aprovechar el tiempo. Eh, para claro, exactly, exactly. Que... Porque se va a aburrir en la casa, así que no worries, ya le mando tarea extra. <laughs> But I'm glad, I'm glad you're good with that. Okay, okay, guys, so um, anything else? I'm sorry, uh, is there anything else with the pupusas que quieran agregar? Oh, in the chat, les escribí these words. Les escribí flour, right? Que es como la harina. And dough, que es la masa. Eh, yes, Juan Antonio? Loroco, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, there is no word in English. So, loroco is loroco. Eh, tenemos también papelillo. Those are Latin American words. So, no hay forma de decirlas en English. Um, so, papelillo is the same. Cochinito is the same, Mora is the same, eh, Dalila, octopus, pupusas with cheese, what? <laughs> okay, Dalila, tell us about it. Please, cuéntenos. Guys, have you ever eaten lo, uh, octopus, pupusas? No, no. Where did you? Okay, first, ¿a dónde las comió? Where did you buy them? ¿O les hizo? Did you make them? Um, tell us, Miss. Carson, tiene recetas bien interesantes. You got like, ay, una tutorial. <laughs> okay. De YouTube. Okay. Ah. Okay, you made them. Okay. I, I don't know. Guys, would you like to try uh, octopus pupusas? No. No? Sandra, no? No. Why not? For the octopus. Like to, to see. To see food. See food. Ah, you don't like seafood. Okay. No. Like. I remember this other recipe. Uh, I don't remember the name of the person, but she was making pupusas with chocolate. ¿Se recuerdan? Do you remember that recipe? No. 
fue hace años, it was a long time ago, and the, uh, she was making pupusas, but instead of quesillo, she was putting queso duro, el pedazo de queso duro. You don't remember that one? Ah, uh, Olga Miranda. Olga Miranda, yes. And I saw a pupusa with chocolate. So ahora que Silvia mencionaba, like, que tu pupusa was like thinking about different ingredients. Y es una pupusa de chocolate, but I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm open to try, but maybe not pupusa made of chocolate. So let's move on here. I got the next one, all right? So for the ones who are fans of DC comic and all these uh, uh, superhero movies, wait, DC comic and the other one, that Marvel and all of those. Guys, what can you tell us about Batman? What are the characteristics of this character? Alone. Okay, so it is always alone, okay. Batman is mis mis mysterious. Ah, mysterious, okay. So he's alone all the time. He's mysterious, yes. Intelligent. Intelligent, okay. He's very smart. He's rich. Oh, he's millionaire. Uh huh. He's rich. He's a strong. Very strong. Uh huh. What about the the villain in the city? Uh, what is the name of the villain? The bad man, the bad boy. Uh, Robin. He's a Robin. Uh, he's. He's Robin. 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 Uh -huh. Robin. Yeah, but in English. Um. The city or uh, no 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 I mean what is the name of the of the um, villain or the bad person in the movies? So normally uh, Robin is his best friend, uh -huh, but the bad man, Joker. the Joker, exactly. That would be the Joker. Okay, and I have one more picture, guys. I know you like it. <laughs> so what do you think about this person? Bad Bunny. What do you think about his music? Um, it's irrelevant. I don't like your music. But I don't like that. You don't like that kind of music? No. It's this irrelevant. You don't like the. No. <laughs> it's irrelevant. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Guys, who likes Bad Bunny? <laughs> no. Okay, no. No, nobody. The youngest. No, no. no. Juan Antonio. Like, no. I think we said last time Joel was the youngest. Joel, do you like Bad Bunny? Bad Bunny, mm, so so. <laughs> okay. Did you go to the concert? Mm, no, no. Uh, I prefer uh, uh, Ricardo Arjona. Uh, uh, okay. Um, but do you? Uh -huh. other, other artists in uh, um, uh, Bad Bunny, mm, no. He is not your favorite. Um, no. But do you um, do you know the songs? Did you memorize the songs? The song. Se las pueden. Do you know the songs, Caesar? The Bad Bunny. For my solo job. One, only one. Only one. Sing, sing the chorus. <laughs> so can't no solo el coro, just sing the chorus. <laughs> I remember uh, sing the the one is Amor Foda. I have never heard those. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and I believe some of you may it is have a um, be a be, um, be, <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea I have um, too. Um, be, um, be, it's, it's difficult to understand, right? Uh, <laughs> okay. Bunny? Silvia, you la veo Tell us, do you have any story? Juan Antonio? 
creo que Juan iba a cantar. I, I'm not sure, no le logré escuchar. Juan, tell us. No, no. no teacher. Ay, yo pensé que a cantar no se iba. <laughs> so I thought you were gonna sing or something. Okay, okay. Ceci, uh, Yvonne, you're not into this music, you're not into reggaeton. No. Yes, me, a mí me gusta el reggaetón. Do you like reggaetón? Do you like Bad Bunny? Eh, algunas, no todas. <laughs> Do you know them? Sí se la sabe. Do you know them? No. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so bad. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay. <laughs> um, para decir me gusta, you know that we can say I like, right? Pero también está esta otra expresión and we can say I am into. So, si alguna vez escuchamos eso de I am into, are you into, puede ser o nos podemos referir si nos gusta, right? Are you into reggaeton? So, les gusta el reggaeton? That's another way to say it, right? Or, I'm not into reggaeton. I'm not into uh, comic movies. I'm not into food. So, es como no me interesa o no me gusta, right? That's a way to say it. So, very good, guys. Now, yes? Para decir más o menos. So, so. So, so. So, yeah, that's so, so. Mm -hmm. That would be so, so. Okay. So, take a look at these. Uh, we have all these people, right? We have a couple of abilities here. For example, we were saying that um, the in the case of the total, the total can swim. Batman can... What can Batman do, guys? ¿Cuáles son las habilidades de Batman? What can Batman do? This intelligence. Uh, okay. Okay, he can invent, yes. Like invent. It is whole, whole, yes. este, ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, ¿Tiene eh, fuerza? He's a strong, but ¿qué a puede strong. hacer? What can he do uh -huh, with the strength? Uh -huh. Batman. Batman is, is, is can fight. He can fight, uh, pelear, fight. Ah, yes, he can fight. Okay, fight. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. He can fight. He can invent things, objects. Jonathan? Or Juan Antonio, no estoy segura quién mencionó algo. Para que sea sigiloso, teacher. ¿Cómo sería? Oh, okay. So, but, eh, pero como es más una habilidad, ¿cómo sería la habilidad? What would it be? ¿Cómo se puede mover? ¿O en silencio? ¿O how? Algo así, teacher. Ok, ok. Para mover. Es fuerte. Let me see. Iván says, take. Comer in the dark. Take comer, take comer. Iván, ¿a qué se refiere? Like. In the dark. Uh, Cubrirse en oscuridad. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Eh, solamente que con comer, creo que se le fue por ahí comer. la M. Sí, <laughs> take exacto. over, ¿verdad? Ok, ok, ok. Got I'm it. Sorry. Uh -huh. No, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, so he can take cover in the dark, right? Se oculta o se esconde rápido. Ok. Eh, like. You said that puede ser sigiloso, so he can uh, move, podemos decir, he can move eh, silently, right? Se mueve silenciosamente, sigilosamente, that is very similar. Um, Jorge? I think Jorge mentioned another one. For okay. between, for Silvia? For between. Por sus alas puede moverse. Okay. So he can with the wings. Like he can move or he can fly. Fly. Okay. So he can fly with the wings. Okay. Yeah. He can do that. That's right. Anything else? Se nos queda algo de las habilidades this person has. Okay, what about Bad Bunny, guys? So if we are talking about real people, <laughs> um, so what are some abilities Bad Bunny has? Yes, Andra, tell us. Ah, uh, <laughs> singing very bad. 
okay? <laughs> you are terrible, okay, sir. He can sing badly, okay? Now, but, but puede ser dinero, you know? He can make money easily. No sé cómo, guys. I got no idea how, but he can make a lot of money. Um, what else? ¿Qué puede hacer? What can he do? Alguien, you know, de los seguidores, from the followers, from the fans here. No more. Que no les dé pena decir que son fans, guys. Algún que eh, mm, to influence people. Ah, yes, that's right. I have to agree. So he can influence a lot of people especially um, young people, right? So los más jóvenes, like the youngest, young people, that's all right. Si no recuerdan el concierto, that was so full. Okay, okay, okay. So these are these people's abilities. Guys, what about your abilities? What are some things that you can do? What are some things you cannot do? And the... Um, So, yo sé que ya antes han practicado, like, un poquito de habilidad, right? So, what can you do? Pero no piensas solamente, ah, puedo comer, puedo dormir, puedo jugar. Because <laughs> normally everybody can do it. Uh, so, we have different kind of abilities, right? So, for example, hay personas que son muy creativas. So, can you make creative things with your hands? Can you create objects? Or can you paint or do something different? No nos quisieron cantar, but can you sing? Do we have any singer here? Or can anybody play musical instruments? Or hay personas que son muy buenas escuchando. Like, can you listen and advise people? Or uh, we have programmers, we have chefs, we have, I don't know. So what are your abilities, guys? I'll give you one minute para que piensen en sus habilidades, but no vamos con... Puedo comer, puedo dormir. I mean, we can do it, but ¿qué habilidad tiene? What are the abilities you have? Tal vez no algo que puedan hacer, but piensen también en las habilidades interpersonales, right? Eh, pueden eh, trabajar con muchas personas. Can you work with a lot of people? Eh, pueden, I don't know, guys, ¿qué son habilidades de hoy en día? Ah, pueden usar Excel. Can you use Excel very well? Um, like in advanced level, uh, or can you can you make presentations nicely? Alguien puede hacer videos. Can you make videos? Even TikTok, you know, so that works. So what are your abilities? Un minuto, guys. Think about your abilities. Pueden escribirlas. You can write them down. Y luego nos comparten. Then you share with us.
Okay, everybody, so time is over. Tell us about your abilities. ¿Qué pueden hacer, guys? Do you have any special ability? Can you fight like, like Batman? Um, can you do... ¿Cómo conectar sonido? Para hacer que puedo conectar sonido. Uh, what do you mean, Juan? Como, ah, okay. Como el ingeniero de sonido. Uh, so, okay. So... We can use the expression set up. Set up is como arreglar algo or so set up the sound system. Puede ser bien específico. I can set up the sound system in a concert. Oh, very good. Uh, Juan, are you a DJ? No. Pero trabajo de eso. Did you work in that area? No. No, más que todo como en eventos solo conecto mi música. Ok, pero si sí hace no, como todas prueba. las... No mezclas. No, no mezclas, no como, como para pruebas, no más. Ah, okay. sí, pero sería setup, setup the sound system. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, yo ya pensando para contratarle mi cumpleaños, ¿no? ah. <ríe> para mis 40. <ríe> Jorge? Is technical sound, sería algo así? Yes, yeah, so that would be like, well, let me see, yeah. uh, like, like, what I can do. Uh -huh. I can, I, probably I can install, I can install the sound system or I can test it. That could work. Or I can set up. Set up es como dejar todo listo, right? So I can set up. Mm -hmm. That would work too. Okay. Interesting. Guys, what about the rest? What are your skills? Carlos? Uh, es como, I can uh, perform macro in the cell. You can perform macro? In the cell. Elaboración in macros. Excel. Ah, you can use macros in Excel. Yes. Oh, oh, very nice. Excel is really difficult. Okay. Okay. Además, I can do some first aid, como primeros auxilios. Ah, first aid. Okay. I can perform for. Oh, that's important. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I can inject a person, people, in the toe. Really? Can yes. you like, like put injections, like shots? With injector. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Where did you learn it? And the other is I can make an invitation card. You can make invitation cards. Oh, okay. Would you think what program? Mm, manual. Or mano. Mano. Or ah, so you have hand. Okay. Yes. Oh, so you have some skills. Oh, very interesting. Carlos, ¿dónde aprendió a inyectar? Where did you learn it? En primeros auxilios recibí un curso de 18 meses. Ahí una vez incluido con todo eso. Where? Hitting in the country. Sí, con médicos y enfermeras. That was good. That was, that's really important. So, ¿inyecta a su familia? Do you inject your a family? A cualquier persona. A cualquier persona. I mean, I'm asking because yo no me dejo de mi familia. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No les confío. So. <laughs> okay. Oh, but that's really interesting. Uh, Dalila, me llama la atención what you have there. It says, she says, I can cook very well. I can draw and paint. And I can sing high notes since my voice is soprano. Um, Dalila, what do you mean? Are you a singer? Creo que solo está en el chat. I'm not sure. Yes. Oh, so you do classes. No, guys, tenemos que escuchar la voz de Dalila. We need to listen to her. Miss, avísenos cuando esté libre. En... Oh, my God. You got a scholarship. Did you ever sing in a, in a, in a choir? Cantó en un coro. Did you ever sing in a choir or something? Wow, that's really cool. 
<laughs> no, Miss, you have to tell us about it. Uh, um, sencillo. Dalila, are you are you for real? <laughs> okay, um, Miss, can you speak? Okay, guys, what happens is that Dalila is, is texting, right? So she is writing um, que tiene un Discord, that she has a, 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 a CD, you know? So I'm like, okay, we need to listen to her voice. So that's really interesting. So Ivan says, I know a little bit of carpentry. Okay, okay, sounds really good. Guys, what about the rest of you? So, ¿qué pueden hacer? What can you do? What are your skills? De los que, like, people don't really know about. So, Jonathan, what are your abilities? Mr. Amaya, do you have any skill we don't know? Sandra, uh, Silvia, Ceci, what are your skills, guys? I may do this rope. Mm. Like souvenirs. No, that's the tourism. Ah, okay. So like the tours. Yeah. Uh, inside the country or out of the country? Mm. In the country. In the country. Okay. So you make tours. Very good. Like you are like a like a tour guide or something. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? What are your abilities? I don't know if it's ability, but Dang. I found I found books and in the chat, but when they are mal colocados, o cuando los alumnos los esconden, but I don't know. <laughs> you say? Wait, so do you have ability to to find books? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, my coworkers uh, told me I can find this book. And uh, okay, I go to the channel and I I start to see uh -huh. all the entrepanos. Uh, I don't know, estante entrepanos between the levels, yeah. probably in the and shelf the levels. levels. Yes, uh -huh. in the shelf levels and. Uh, Sometimes I I found very quickly, but in other case, uh, two or three days. Oh, okay. But we are talking about thousands of books. Yes. So it is a lot. Okay, okay. Interesting. So now I say let's go there, you know. I just imagine you in the house looking for the keys. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. You know, um, si yo I'm me ready... encuentro, ¿qué te hago? Oh, <laughs> es que eso se me acaba de ocurrir. You know, I was like, ah, oh, my mom was like that. <laughs> okay. Um, Ivan says that he was a lifeguard on the beach. Oh, my goodness. Ivan, can you? Okay, Ivan, quick question. Have you ever done the paso del hombre? Um, yes, teacher. Um... Uh, oh, right, 2012. Oh my goodness! Yes. So, how many kilometers is that? 10, uh, 20? Uh, Puerto la Libertad, Puerto la Libertad hasta uh, Mahagual. Okay, that's like what? 10, 20 kilometers. Um, um, seven. Oh, seven. seven okay, uh, seven. Uh, 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 ten kilometers. Okay, from seven to ten kilometers. So you can swim like fish. <laughs> sí. Wow. That's really nice. Okay. Guys, tienen habilidades bien geniales. <laughs> so you have a lot of <laughs> skills, you know. That's really interesting. Okay. What else, guys? Tell us. Guys, piensen en sus habilidades. You have a lot. Probably you say, oh, I know I don't have, they are so common. But, you know, todos quisiéramos tener las habilidades de alguien más. So we wish we had your abilities. 
Um, any anybody else? Do you want to share something else? No more. Okay. Come on, guys. I was like, I wanna, I wanna listen to some of you, <laughs> or if you like play musical instruments, that would be really nice as well. So, if you take a look, um, usamos el can para hablar de nuestras habilidades, right? We use it to talk sobre lo que podemos hacer, but sometimes eh, ese no es el único uso que le damos, right? Um, we can also use it para pedir información o pedir cosas. So that's a second use of the verb eh, can. And también utilizamos eh, could, que es la forma pasado, right? So let's take a look at your material. I have here a little conversation and uh, so we can practice it as well. And uh, it says part of the objective, like I will be able to ask and give information about products in a polite way. So, um, el can si lo utilizo para las skills, ese es el uso número uno. But el uso número dos, right, es para hablar de eh, posibilidades, de permiso, and pretty much lo que podemos hacer. So can es la forma presente, could es la forma de pasado. Pero también can se considera, eh, ambos son formales, both are very formal, pero could, this one, es mucho más específico para preguntas because it is very polite. What is polite? Muy cortés, especialmente en ambientes de trabajo, right? So, uh, if for example, yo puedo perfectamente decir, can I, si necesito salir, le puedo preguntar a alguien, imagínense que están con su jefe, you can ask, can I go out? Right? Si están en una reunión, like, oh, can I go out? It's okay, it's fine. Pero si quieren ser muy polite, la pregunta sería, cambiamos can por could. Could I go out? And that's it. Es lo mismo, pero could me hace la pregunta mucho más polite. So imagine, for example, that necesito tomar una llamada. So guys, ¿cómo puedo preguntar si puedo tomar una llamada? Can I? Can I answer the phone call? Ah, okay, very good. So can I answer the phone call? Or can I take the call? Que también es otra forma de decirlo. Can I? Take. Can I take the phone call? Can I answer the phone, right? So uh, this is okay, it's formal. Pero como la hago mucho más bonita? How can I make it better? Solo voy a hacer el cambio. En vez de can, could. Um, yeah, excuse me. Could I take the phone call? Uh, could I answer my phone? Right? So es como the same, pero una es más bonita que la otra, right? Um, for example, si quiero preguntar, guys, uh, imagine that necesito salir and uh, estoy in an office, pero es como, ¿me puedo ir? So, ¿cómo pregunto? What is the question that we can ask? For me puedo ir. ¿Cómo haría la pregunta, guys? Can I go out? Pues puedo salir, pero ya me quiero ir, you know. I want to get out of the place. So, ¿cuál es la pregunta? What can be the question? Can I? ¿Cómo digo me puedo ir? Can I? Go out. Mm, yeah, but aunque go out es más salir, you know, like, estoy en la oficina. Ah, ¿puedo salir? Can I go out? Can I get out? Get out. Okay, can I get yeah. out? Yeah, I... but hay otra palabra. There is another word. Like, me quiero ir para mi casa. Can I? Les doy, la, les doy una can clue. Okay, can I go home is a possibility. But, eh, si solamente me quiero ir, but ay, me quiero ir de aquí, you know. Um, I'll give you a clue. Can I want? 
the first letter is letter L. Let's go. Let's. Oh, let's go. No. It's five letters. Solo tiene cinco letras. It's a verb. It has five letters. And si estoy en un lugar, lo utilizo para decir, uh, ¿puedo irme? Right? No puedo salir, si no puedo irme. Uh -huh. So, can I? Five letters. Cinco letras, guys. Give me letters. Okay, give me letters and I'm going to tell you yes or no. Can I leave? <laughs> yes. Can I leave? Exactly. Can I leave? That's the one. So, can I leave like, me puedo ir, right? No necesariamente la casa, solo me puedo ir. That's the one. Um, and again, si le quiero hacer mucho más cortes, I can ask, could I leave? So, guys, ¿qué otras preguntas hacen en su trabajo? What other questions do you normally ask? Que tiene que ser bien polite. Cuando pagan. Ah, okay. What is the question? Can you help me? Can you, ah, can you help me? ¿Cómo la cambiamos? Can you help me? Could you help me, right? Uh -huh. Could you help me? Exactly. Cuando pagan, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? What's the question you ask, Cesar? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, ayudemos a Cesar. But ¿Qué es lo que quiero preguntar first, Cesar? ¿Cómo po podría pagar? <laughs> or what? <laughs> Cuando cae la rata. Ah, uh, ok. Términos de cuando pagan. Cuando van a okay. pagar. No, yo pensé que porque quería vender algo. En, ajá, so I was not sure. Ok. So, ¿Qué preguntas hacen, guys? What questions do you make? Que necesitan pedir permiso. O si necesitan algo. When you need something. Um, it's very common that we ask with can I, could I, right? Because estoy yo pidiendo permiso. Uh, for example, if I want to say, ¿Puedo venir temprano mañana o puedo venir tarde? Those are questions that we normally use with could. So, could I, ¿Cómo puedo pedir permiso para llegar tarde? Help me, guys. What's the question? Could I? I come in too late. I don't know. Okay, so could I come late tomorrow? Exactly, that's the one. So could I come late? Uh, could I, o me puedo ir temprano? Could I leave early tomorrow? Right? Lo voy a agregar acá. Could I leave, cuando se quieren ir temprano, could I leave early? Porque estoy pidiendo, right? So I'm asking about it. Um, so, cuando pedimos información, it's very important que lo hagamos de una forma bastante corta. If you take a look, tenemos esta conversación. They are asking for information. And the, como piden información, también están haciéndolo bien cortes, like the most courteous way possible. So, take a look at this. Uh, here we have a conversation between Linda and Juan. Let me read it. And then, me ayudan ustedes, and then you help me read this conversation. So, we have Linda says, uh, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2. Um, and cubicle fit, a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty uh, of it is for, and then we have extra information, right? So take a look at this. Um, cuando la persona no la entendió, no le dijo, what? <laughs> Sino que preguntó, could you repeat that, please? ¿Me lo puede repetir? Pero no fue can, sino could para que sonara un poco más cortés, right? A little bit more cortés. So let's take a look, guys, at some expressions. 
And repitan conmigo. Repeat with me, please. Y luego la practicamos. Eh, thanks so much. Thanks so much. So much. Ok, ahora vamos hasta el puntito, hasta el period. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks for calling. How can I help you? How can I help you? Okay. So how can I help you? How can, how can I, I help, help you? you? Okay, of course. Of, of course. course. Oh. Keyboard. 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 Okay, very good. That's it. Um, so, y tenemos esta palabra que la vimos en la vez anterior, right? That is warranty. ¿Qué era warranty, guys? What is this? Garantía. La garantía. Exactly. So, the warranty, right? Okay. And uh, we do have this conversation. Guys, I need two people uh, to help me with this one. So, okay, I'm going to pick. So, Ivan, ¿me puede ayudar? Can you help me, please? No sé si Ivan está acá. Hi, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so Ivan, ayúdeme con la parte de Linda, please. Ayúdeme con la primera. Solamente cambia el nombre, right? En vez de decir Linda is speaking, puede decir this is Ivan or Ivan is speaking, right? Or Ivan is speaking. So cambiamos el nombre. And uh, Silvia Inés, ¿me puede ayudar? Can you help me with the second person? Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. So, Ivan, cuando esté listo, whenever you're ready. Um, Linda, que sería Inés. Um, no, no, no. I mean, comenzamos con usted. We start with you. Eh, solo vaya cambiando la parte donde dice los nombres. Just go ahead and change the names. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much for calling. Um, Ines is speaking. How, no, su nombre. How I'm helping. Ivan. Ivan is speaking. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Um, thank you so much for calling. Ivan is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Ivan. Call you guy. My song information about the pros washer. Oh, of course, it have um, no sé cómo se dice eso. Capa capacity. Capacity of uh five point two point two cubical feet. Cover of T, a turbo processor and an intelligent cable. Okay. Eh, teacher, voy a intentar leer, se me mueve mucho la, la pantalla. I see que you guys my information about the Warranty. Okay. I'm sorry. Could, could you repeat that, please? Can you get, can you get my information about um, the warranty? About the warranty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, they. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso, teacher? Warranty. Warranty of it is for. Okay, very good, guys. There we go. So we have those questions. Can you give me? Could you give me? Very good job with that. And uh, solamente, um, let me see, I una frasecita para cada weekend um, que podamos improve. Uh, that is this one. So, guys, repiten conmigo. Vamos a intentar unirlas. So, eh, first, digamos la separada. Give me. Give me. 
Give okay. me. Give. Give me. Give, give me. me. Can you give me? Can you give me? Give me. Ahora, una mola. Can you give me? Can you give me? Exactly. Si alguna vez han escuchado a Britney Spears, hay mucho pedazo que dice give me, give me, give me. <laughs> so give me and give me actually son lo mismo. It's the same. Okay, very good job with this. Now, antes de, de poder practicar esta parte, before practicing this, I have just a little something that eh, vamos a revisar también. Este tema yo sé que es súper fácil for you. Uh, ya lo vieron. You already checked this before. Así que no va a causarles mayor dificultad. But then, there is something else. Les acabo de compartir por ahí un ejercicio. But lo vamos a hacer, guys, hasta que revisemos el siguiente tema. The topic, um, it's very easy. But again, vamos a practicarlo before. Este es un poquito de May and Might. So take a look at this one. Again, tenemos una conversación. We have a little conversation here. Let me repeat it for you. Or la vayan repitiendo conmigo, right? Y luego la practicamos. Then we just practice this one there. So. Ah, ok. Gracias, Dalila. Thank you. Oh, qué tarde, mis. Pero espero que ya convienes your house. Ok. Let me, uh, guys, repitan conmigo. Please practice with me. It says, have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you seen this? You might, you might like it. You might like it. What is it? What is it? It's a watch. It's a watch. It's a watch. That counts calories as you walk. That counts calories as you walk. Not sure why I might need this. No sé why I might need meat. Well, you said you are on a diet. Well, you say you are on a diet. It might motivate you to walk more. It might motivate you to walk more. Yeah, I suppose it might help uh, me lose weight. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose it might help me lose the weight. It may. It, it may. may. You never know. You never know. Very nice. Okay, guys, repeat with me. You might like this. You might, you might like this. I might need this. I, I might, might need, need this. this. It might motivate you. It might motivate you. You can say mo motivate. It might motivate you. It might motivate you. Ambas están bien. So it might motivate you. It might not motivate you. It might help. It might It may. It may. Exactly. So take a look at this one first. ¿De qué se trata la conversación, guys? What is the conversation about? ¿De qué están hablando? What are they talking about? De cosas de ejercicio. Okay, okay. yeah. Yeah, something related to exercise. ¿Qué más? What else? A diet. A diet, yeah. okay. Exercise, diet, pero ahí hay algo más. There is something else. De un reloj. Yes, of a watch. So it says, have you seen this? You might like this, all right? Now, ¿qué significa you might like this? What is that? Eh, media noche. Medio día, media noche. Ah, okay. Podría gustarte. Podría gustarte. Podría exactly. Gustarte esto. Exactly, exactly. So take a look at this one. Utilizamos el can para hablar de posibilidades. Yo puedo decir, you can like this. 
pero no tiene sentido, you no know? te puede gustar. En cambio, might es como podría, right? So we are talking about possibilities también. En inglés utilizamos dos expresiones para hablar de possibilities. Y de hecho nosotros decimos maybe. So maybe es relacionado con esto. So tenemos may, right? We do have may. Y tenemos might. ¿Te parece? Pero no son lo mismo. So take a look. First, eso lo pronunciamos como may, right? Y la de abajo lo pronunciamos como might. Might. Ma lo voy a escribir my. creo que sí se entiende eso um, we have may and we have might ¿cuál es la diferencia? what's the difference? Uh, que may me indica que hay muchas más probabilidades que algo suceda right? cuando sucede dicen vas a trabajar el sábado will you work on Saturday? I may or I might So, ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que quizás de una actividad may es como un 80% de seguridad que va a suceder, like 80%, en might es como un 40, you know? So, hay posibilidades, pero menos, like low. If I ask you, hey guys, will you go out of the country on vacation? Will you travel on vacation? ¿Van a salir del país? Will you go out of the country on vacation? I am poor. <laughs> okay, Mike but me. that. Uh -huh, so you también puedo expresar ideas que no van a pasar, you know. So, ¿cómo lo puedo hacer? Uh, easy. Let's take a look. Si yo estoy casi segura que sí, yo puedo decir, um, I may. So, I may travel. I may go to... Uh, I may go to what? Uh, to Guatemala. I may go to El Pital, right? Es un 80%. Uh, if I say, I might work, es quizás un 40, if you take a look. Quizás trabaje, pero no hay ninguna seguridad. But of course, también puedo hacerlo negativo. So, I may not travel, right? Yo quizás no vaya a hacerlo. Casi el 80% estoy segura que no voy a salir del país, right? Or I might not. ¿Qué fue lo que dijo? Eran los compañeros. I'm poor. Ok. Quizás yo no voy a tener dinero. I might not have money, you know, during those days. So, eh, puedo expresar también un poquito más de de posibilidades utilizando these words here. So again, tenemos may, right? Y tenemos a might, que las usamos eh, al igual que can and could para hablar de posibilidades, que tanta posibilidad hay que suceda. Uh, take a look at this conversation, guys. Vamos a practicar un poquito la pronunciación también. We're going to practice a little bit of pronunciation. And uh, solamente revisemos, I'm going to erase it, revisemos un poquito uh, some words. So we have counts, tenemos diet, tenemos motivate, tenemos lose, and we have suppose. Okay, guys, repeat it conmigo, please. Count. 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 Um, um, diet. 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 Motivate. 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 Ahora, ahora hagamos la cortita. Mori. Motivate. Motivate. Ambas están bien. Motivate. Motivate. Um, suppose. suppose. Hagamos una U. Suppose. Suppose. Suppose, ok. Luz. Luz. Mm -hmm. Como de la luz, right? So, luz. Mm -hmm. Help me lose weight. Ok, guys. So, vamos a practicarla. Just practice it. Así como la tenemos. En, si el vocabulario no es nuevo, si la conversación está fácil de entender, entonces eh, practiquemos eh, pronunciación, right? So, then 
It's time to practice specific pronunciation, especialmente la diferencia entre cuál es may, cuál es might, que se confunden bastante, right? Guys, les voy a dar cinco minutitos y les presento la pantalla here para que la puedan practicar. And, uh, eh, practiquenla hasta que les salga súper bonito, bien fluido, que no se traben tanto, right? And then we come back y vamos a tener un par de voluntarios. So, cinco minutos, guys. Go to the groups, please. And let's practice that conversation. So there we go. Let's go, let's go guys. Let's go to the groups.
Alrighty, welcome guys. So, um, how was your practice? Les confundió un poquito la parte de may, might or ya estamos bien? Are we good with that part? But todavía like we kind of confuse them a confuse. little. Confuse a little. Okay. Well, es una cuestión de práctica, right? Solo es de recordarse. El primero eh, parece, pero no es. <ríe> Se parece un may, pero, o, para, o parece un may, right? But le pronunciamos may. So that's the one. And the second, we pronounce it as might. Might. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and let's uh, practice this one. So let me just pick up two people. Let me see, let me see. Okay, um, Joel, can you help me please? Ayúdeme con la primera parte donde dice uh, woman or man, si quiere, whatever. So you can use me with any of those. And Ceci, ayúdeme, please help me. Um, so Joel, ayúdeme con la... Um, La naranja with the orange one and Ceci, help me with the blue one, please. Okay, Miss. Uh, have you seen this? You might like this. Joel, is that for acá? Yes, yes. Uh, what is it? Is. Permítame, permítame un momento que no veo acá. Okay. It's a wash that comes calories as you walk. Um, not sure um, why I make Nick this. Uh, well, you say you are on a, a guy, uh, it might motivate uh, you to work more. Yeah. I suppose it might help me lose weight. It made you never know. Okay, no, actually that was okay. That was very good, very good pronunciation with that one. Okay, thank you so much guys. Now I have this little exercise and the please guys by the WhatsApp a moment, go there really quick. Y van a encontrar one exercise con may and might. So, if you take a look, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre may and might? May tiene más posibilidades que algo suceda. En might es como sí, pero no, you know. <laughs> so, might es un quizás, un tal vez. May también es un quizás o tal vez, pero tiene más posibilidades que va a suceder, right? Um, so if you say I may work, es casi seguro que voy a trabajar. And I might work, quizás sí, quizás no, I'm not sure. So there is a little bit of difference there. In the exercise, si lo, me confirman si lo pueden abrir. Let me know if you were able to open it up. So tenemos may, higher possibility, might, lower possibility. And we have there. Andrea is coughing. May. E, may or my? What do you think? May. 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 Ah, okay, si, si nos confundimos con la pronunciación, acá la tenemos. You have it here, guys. So may, right? Or my? ¿Cuál de las may. dos? May. Okay. Vayan escribiéndola. So go write it para que al final tengamos la nota. So we can get the score, right? Number two, it's cloudy. Okay, guys, what is the meaning of cloudy? Nublado. Nublado, exactly. Okay, so, okay. It's cloudy and it says it rained today. It may rain or it might rain. May. Algunas veces ambas se pueden, right? So no son, eh, no se excluyen, but go and select the one that you think goes with that one. I'm gonna write here. Cloudy. Okay. 
Next one, guys. The next one, number three, says, I win the lottery. Make Do you have possibilities? Do you have a Mike, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> okay. but okay, let's be let's never be. <laughs> 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 exactly. Guys, have you ever bought a lottery ticket or a lotin? One. One. Okay. Have yes. you ever uh, won money? Jan ganado dinero. Have you ever won some money? No. Never. Okay. Never. So look at this. Remember, May. Es una posibilidad mucho más grande, right? May, la primera. May, la segunda, es menos. So, es una posibilidad súper aislada. So, what about the lottery? You may or you might win the lottery? May. 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 Ok. May. <laughs> ok, ¿cuál sería la diferencia cuando hablamos? Si yo digo, I may win the lottery, Es que estoy casi segura que la voy a ganar. And if I say, I might win the lottery, es quizás sí, quizás no. 50-50, right? So, okay, that's it, guys. So you decide which one you think is the correct answer. Um, okay, revisemos la siguiente. Let's take a look at the next one. It says, number four, you make it on time, but you will have to hurry. Ah, look at this. What do you think? Might. You might make might. it on time? Yes. Okay. Primero, eh, revisemos esta expresión. Make it on time. ¿A qué se refiere make it on time? A hacerlo a tiempo. A hacerlo a tiempo. Okay. So, make it on time es como cumplir con algo, you know? Como salir eh, con tiempos de algo. And, uh, Por ejemplo, el si me han pedido que envíe un reporte y no sé si lo voy a completar, a eso me refiero con make it on time. The person says, you make it on time. Puedes, puede que salgas a tiempo, right? Puede que lo logres completar. But you will have to hurry. So what do you think? What, what would it be? What would be the correct answer here? Hay muchas posibilidades que lo termine a tiempo or not? I may, you may make I it may. on time, or you might make it on time. May. May. Remember, may es muchas may. posibilidades. May. Might son poquitas posibilidades. So, leamos el contexto también. Eh, vamos con number may. five. Uh, vayan escribiendo la guys, go write it, right? In the, para que también ustedes puedan tener luego el feedback. Number five. Lucy is in the last place she lose the race okay si está en último lugar if she is in the almost or no the last place hay muchas o pocas posibilidades que pierde la carrera what do you think may 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 ah there you go okay 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 Porque it's been difficult, right? It, it'll be really difficult to recover. Number six, Tom, go to the movie theater tomorrow. What do you think? Tom may or Tom might? May. Or might. May. Okay. May. Pregunta, ¿qué tan, seguro, ¿qué tan seguros estamos que va a ir al cine? How sure are we? Depende. Pero según esto, que no nos da mucha información, what do you think? <laughs> We're not sure, but we, are we don't not know. Sure. Y no tenemos muchas cosas. Entonces, si oh, es un 50-50. Ah, ok. We, well, acabamos por mi error, así que let's go ahead and give it a try. La siguiente, ya está la respuesta, así que never mind. <laughs> So number seven, sí. la respuesta ya está ahí. There was a mistake. Ok, vamos con la... Pero igual, escríbanle la respuesta just in case. Number eight. Number eight says, Liam, buy a, guy, uh, buy a car next month. What do you think about this one? Mine. Mine. 
Might or may? Might. May. may. This is the plan. Okay, but uh, remember, so it's like, ¿cuántas posibilidades or qué tan posible es que esto suceda? Okay, uh, so estamos en number eight, right? So we are in number eight. Liam, buy a car next month. Como no estoy segura, pues no hay mucha información, es un 50-50. So ustedes decían si es my or me. Now, number nine, be absent today because he is ill. So we have ill. All right. Es enfermo. This person is sick. Es, estoy diciendo que quizás está enfermo como un 50-50. O estoy casi segura que no está en clase porque está enfermo. Which of them? May or might? May. May. Okay. So remember we have may and remember we have might, right? So be careful with the pronunciation porque se parece mucho. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, tenemos... so, might. Okay. You decide. Might or may. <laughs> okay. Uh... Dice que no está en clase. Because, porque está enfermo. Entonces, like, estoy casi segura o todavía es un 50-50. Quizás, I'm not sure. That is the point, right? Si usted dice, I'm not sure, ese es un might. I am not sure. That is a might. I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. If I am almost sure, entonces sería I may. That is the point. That is the difference. Number 10, the exam. The exam be delayed. Oh, look at this. We have the word delayed. Okay. Eh, quiero decir que el examen quizás esté atrasado, but quizás o está atrasado. Which of them? ¿Están seguras o no saben? Estamos seguros que They're el examen. Not sure. Ah, they are not sure or they are sure. Mm -hmm. So you decide. Dos más, guys. Nine. Number 11. May. May. Okay, Num number 11, hay una situación y es con el clima, right? En El Salvador, eh, en invierno, pues nunca llueve. Pero pensamos que esto es USA. Imagine we are talking about USA y que tiene las cuatro estaciones, etc. And it says, it snow in the winter. ¿Qué sucede en el invierno? ¿Siempre llueve? ¿O es un 50-50? Puede que sí, puede que no. Es un poquito más de U.S. culture, right? So, it might rain or it may rain. May. So, es, es un poquito cultural, right? ¿Qué tan seguros estamos que va a nevar en uh, winter? Y la última, the last one, she is crying. She has bad marks. Hay un pequeño error con has, tendría que ser have. I'm sorry about that. So She might have bad marks. Okay, look at this. She is crying. So, está llorando, right? No, estoy casi segura que está llorando sure. porque tiene malas notas. Or, no sé si por eso está llorando. What do you think? May. May. Imagínense que es university, en el último, la última evaluación, el último semestre. <laughs> okay. So, guys, y si ya lo terminaron, if you finished it, all right, démosle click en send, luego démosle click en uh, check answers, right? And tell me, ¿cómo les fue? How was that? How many points did you get out of, out of 10? 10 out of 10? Oh, that was good. That was Ten. good. 10? Oh, okay. That was really good. Los demás, guys, what about the rest? How many points did you get? 
<clears throat> like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. What about the rest, guys? Quantos tienen? How many points do you have? Eight. Okay, eight, nine. Oh, that was good. That was really good, actually. Uh, Juan, how many did you get? Boys, girls, Jorge, Ivan, how many did you get? Jonathan? Eight. Okay, but that was actually a really big number. So that was a really good one. Okay, guys, so um, just to move on with the next activity, uh, acá les escribí un poquito el vocabulario que podría ser nuevo. Eh, me confirma si estas palabras ya las conocen. Let me know, please, if you know the meaning. Uh, si ya las conocen, nos movemos con lo siguiente. If not, vamos a intentar trabajar con vocabulario today. So, eh, ¿estas palabras son nuevas? Are they new to you? What? Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one's on the on the on my board. Las que están en mi pantalla son nuevas. Are they new? Solo ill. Okay, only ill. All right. Okay, that means sick. So, guys, let's do the following. Hagamos lo siguiente. Vamos a intentar escribir. We are going to write eh, una oración con las palabras nuevas. So, for example, we have in the first one, tough, right? Que es, <coughs> es el sonido o es el síntoma, right? De la tos. So, we have cough. Es un verbo. Por eso es que lo ven como coughing, right? So, estoy tosiendo. I am coughing. O tengo tos, I have a cough. Then we have cloudy, uh, cloudy right? Estamos hablando del cielo y que estaba es, eh, bien oscuro y va a llover. So it is very cloudy. Um, and it might rain. Make it on time, que decíamos que es completar una actividad en un tiempo específico. So make it on time no se refiere a que lo van a, eh, lo van a hacer a tiempo, sino es más bien que van a terminar algo, right? So you can make it on time. Then we have hurry, right? That is like fast, quickly. Apúrense, right? So, normalmente hurry, lo acompañamos de hurry up, que es como apúrense, lo mismo, pero se oye más bonito. Then we have ill or sick, que son lo mismo, and we have delay. Now, delay es un retraso, right? Normalmente, delay lo utilizo con la expresión, there is a delay, y luego digo en qué. Hay un retraso con algo. Or, puedo utilizarlo como adjetivo también, pero le voy a tener que agregar ed. Por ejemplo, I am delayed. Yo estoy retrasada. Si vamos a hablar de objetos, por ejemplo, como my, my order, right? Imagínense que pidieron algo en Amazon or something. Y digo, mi orden ya se tardó bastante tiempo. Yo puedo decir, my order is delayed. Uy, voy a cambiar el orden acá. So my order is delayed. Como mi orden ya se retrasó mucho, tiene mucho tiempo en espera, right? So to give you some ideas. Guys, con las nuevas, eh, si estas son nuevas, escribamos una oración con ellas, please. Si no son nuevas, if they are not new, entonces igual escribamos una oración, write a sentence, pero vamos a agregarle may y vamos a agregarle might. Or vamos a agregarle también lo que acabamos de revisar con can y con could. So, para que practiquemos de una sola vez, like all of these things. So, may, my, could, and... Uy, este es can. Sorry about that. And can. Okay. So, una oración, guys. Eh, two, four, 
five, six. Son seis palabras, les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes. So, escríbanlas en el chat. Please write them in the chat or write them in a, send, in, in a piece of paper, in your notes, whatever you want. Si las pueden dejar en el chat, sería mejor para poder revisarlas también and uh, poder hacer alguna corrección si es necesario. Um, Jonathan, that is a good example, but is es un ejemplo o es en serio? <laughs> no sabe si va a ir a trabajar. Okay, so let me just check. Um, so Jorge, Jorge, that's a very good one. Solo eh, cambiamos la primera, el spelling de la primera palabra, si lo, por acá se lo comparto. So that would be eh, my flight, right? Que es como el vuelo. But that looks good. Okay, teacher, thank you. No problem, that's all right. I remember guys, si no son nuevas, agreguémosle may or may. If they are new, nos enfocamos en vocabulario nuevo too. I may go to the doctor. Okay, okay, looks good. Eh, Sandra, solo quitémosle el primer to. I may go. Lo demás está súper bien, solo sin el to. That looks good. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. You are welcome.
Okay, so um okay, Jorge, yours look good, but it says I may go to work tomorrow. Es como que está casi seguro. No sé, Rick. <laughs> I don't know if to believe you. <laughs> okay, I have the flu and I don't know if I will go to work. Oh, okay. Okay. So, como no está seguro, right? Or, ¿qué acaba de decir? Oh, Mr. Reyes. Como no está seguro si va a ir a trabajar, esa parte de I don't know, podemos ponerle I might. So, I have the, I might go to work because I have the flu. Right? Or I might not go to work because I have the flu. Entonces, acá si le podemos utilizar un poquito más, podemos utilizar los negativos. We can make them negative. I might not go to work. I may not go to work. Right? Podemos, or puedo ir, a, quizá voy a ir a seguro. I may go to the seguro social. Or I might go to seguro social. Ahí sí podemos utilizarlo. I might go to the gym tomorrow. Ceci, are you serious? <laughs> Do you go to the gym? <laughs> okay. Okay, it was says I might cook lunch for tomorrow. Okay. But it won't you cook, right? You cook every day. Yes. Ah, okay, so yeah. You might cook or you may cook. Make. Oh, okay. Tonight it's cloudy and rain tonight. Okay. Okay, so Juan, a quick question. A, ¿A qué se refiere con rain? Como puede que llueva, like ahora está oscuro y puede que llueva. Yes. Ah, okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Si, no sé si tiene el link del ejercicio que acabamos de completar. Si usted entra, un segundo, déjeme abrirlo. Si usted entra, va a ver, you'll see, um, Hay un ejercicio, actually, there is one exercise que se refiere a eso. Eh, number two, si gusta leer el número dos, go over number two. Y ahí puede tener una idea de cómo armar la oración. How to put it together. But I got it. I may hurry up for my homework. Okay. My husband is ill. Maybe it is cough. Okay. It's cloudy. It may rain today. Okay. I can buy and may delay the products. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Silvia, very good job. That looks very nice. Quizás solamente vamos a cambiar el orden. Donde dice, I can buy and the product may delay. So, como pues, puedo comprar, pero los productos van a tardar, right? I can buy and the products may delay. Solo cambiamos el orden. Looks good. Okay, good, very good. Uh, two more minutes, guys. I'll give you two more.
Ah, okay, Juan Antonio, very good job. Okay, that make that sounds better. I might make it on time at work. Okay, I'm gonna make it on time. I'm gonna make it on time at work. Okay, okay, very good. Eh, Sandra, también en la última, I might make it on time at work. Está super bien. En vez de it, eh, puede cambiarlo como para la actividad específica. Por ejemplo, I might make the report on time at work. So I might make the report on time. I might make the, I don't know, the presentation on time. So podemos siempre modificar también esa parte de it para ser más específicos uh -huh, with the word. Very okay. nice, very nice. Okay. Guys, tienen más? Do you have more? Would you like me to check them? Would you like me to take a look? Hey guys, very good job with the with the sentences. They look very nice, and uh, el uso de may in my de hecho está super bien, bien organizado. So I really like it. En la plataforma, uno de los ejercicios se refiere a esto. It's related to this one, and uh, eh, solamente que que lo vayamos completando, right? And remember, so may is más eh, hay más posibilidades. My Es un 50-50, right? Para que no les cueste mucho completar the exercise. Okay, guys. So, very nice job with that. That looks very good. Unfortunately, el tiempo pues se nos va volando. It goes uh, really, really quick. So, let's do the following. Les voy a compartir. Uh, I'm going to share one exercise with you. Para que lo puedan empezar a trabajar. So, you can work it. And it's an exercise of the listening, right, that I have for you. Eh, para que lo pongan, guys, mientras están trabajando, mientras, en el caso de Joel, for example, mientras está aburrido, so <laughs> lo puedo poner en casa y lo puedo practicar as many times as you want. O si van en el camino, right, and uh, so, solo escúchenlo, no tienen que... Eh, ir haciendo nada, solo escúchenlo, escúchenlo hasta que logren comprender de qué se trata y logren identificar palabras, right? Guys, agradecerles por la tendencia. Tenemos una muy buena asistencia eh, durante el módulo. Solo keep it up, right? And uh, sigamos de esa manera. Please do not miss classes. Eh, ya casi vamos por la, la mitad del módulo, right? Y si tienen dudas con algún ejercicio de la plataforma, let me know para hacer las correcciones. Eh, creo que por el momento solo me han reportado los que tenían problemas con el examen with the midterm. ¿Hay algo más, guys, que les está dando problemas? Anything else? I do the midterm, but in two exercise I can put, I write the, the answer, but me la tomo como mala. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's the oh. same problem. Pero, uh, Sandra, no sé si es el mismo el que tenía un problemita de forma que le faltaba el would like. Le yes. faltaba la palabra like. ¿Ya se la agregó? Did you add it? Sí, se la agregué y no me lo... No me lo voy, a, voy a revisarlo mañana nuevamente porque ya lo hice, pero no... Me las deja como malas las dos. Vale, si no, déjenme ver. Eh, tome la captura, si no, tome la captura ah, cuando pueda, la comparte en el grupo y así revisamos también. So let me check, uh -huh, porque puede ser que sea otro ejercicio, right? Guys, antes de irse, solo me regalan confirmación verbal que están acá, por favor. And si me ayudan con su camarita, please. So I have Mr. Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Ceci. <laughs> Thank you, Cesar. Present. Yvonne. 
Present. Thank you. I Dalila creo que en camino. Uh, Iván. Present. Thank you. Joel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you. Mr. Alvarado. Sir Juan. Present. Gracias. Uh, Mr. Maya. Mr. Maya. Thank you. Here. Uh, okay, Carly is not here. Catherine's not here. Uh, creo que por ahí via Maynard. Uh, Sandra. Present. Thank you. Uh, Silvia Estela. Oh, okay. No se preocupe, Miss. I got your attendance. That's okay. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for your attendance. And the, pretty much that's it for the day. Guys, nos vemos el día de mañana. Me, teacher. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Gracias, Silvia. Acá ya la, ya la noté tan ya la vi. <laughs> okay. Ya la oí. <laughs> no worries. And uh, Dalila no está. Guys, ¿alguien eh, quiere cambiar con Dalila and, para tener el one-on-one -on -one today? Cosa ya se tuvo que salir. Sure. Karen, yes, Karen, I got you. Sí, eh, Sandra, si tiene unos minutitos, hacemos el cambio y revisamos de una sola vez la tarea con la plataforma. Okay. ok. So, thank you guys. Thanks everybody. Nos vemos mañana. Have a good night. Sleep well. Bye bye. Good night, bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye. 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 Uh, yo mañana sí no voy a poder entrar porque mañana me pusieron horario de noche. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so bad. Pero solo Pero mañana. Solo para... Sí, solo mañana. Oh, yeah. Sí, es que oh, porque yeah. se han incapacitado varios y me pusieron a cubrir, así que ni más. Oh, oh ti. <risa> no, 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 no es a ti, solo me movieron el horario. No, no, hombre. No, usted hubiera, usted hubiera dicho, oh, sí, sí. <laughs> Just kidding. Vaya, gracias. Gracias, Cesar. I'll see you on yeah. Friday. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. yeah. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you so much. And uh, aprovechando de una sola vez, eh, así tenemos el one-on-one. Miss, quiero, o eh, well, primero, el, el one on one normalmente lo utilizamos para ver como dudas o preguntas o algo que podamos enfatizar, pero quiero iniciar agradeciendo por, por you know, la participación, es súper activa, you know, you're always participating, um, tiene una muy buena attendance, so very good job, that's really, really nice. Y por ahí también estaba viendo la plataforma, ya avanzó bastante, so that's nice, that's really good. Um, ¿Cómo se siente? I want to, to, to know, to hear you as well. So how do you feel? Uh, well, uh, sometimes I feel um, down because uh, I don't understand some words and okay. I, for me it's difficult to to study every every day, but mm -hmm. I try to to re, pass up, to review to review the the lesson. I the know, time. but you're doing a very nice job. What I really like is that you always try to give opinions in English. So you always try to use the the vocabulary. That is nice. That is really, really good. Um, so, but when you say that you feel kind of down, is it because of listening? You feel yes. that you need more practice? Yes, listening. Okay, okay. I mm -hmm. see. Yes, I, I know the feeling. Don't worry. Oh, but with practice, like, you will, you will make it. So, listening is just practice. So, give me one second. Let's, um, let's take a look at the platform. Give me confirmation. What was the exercise that you mentioned? Because I uh, think it's, it's the, the midterm, right? The midterm, yes. Okay. 
the meter. So that should be here. And it should be here. Okay. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, my internet is very slow. <laughs> okay. Um, what is the part? Part four. Uh, yes, when I in this one, I change. I I would like to. I would like to change this product. Okay, and it didn't work. No. Okay. Uh, I would like. Okay, I would like to change this product. Like this. Yes, and period. Uh, no, it's not. You can no. Wait. Okay, wait, because uh, it's not going to. I'm going to select random uh, answers because I just want to see what is going on with this one. So wait a second. Um, oh, um, wait, it worked? Yes, but uh, well, I, tomorrow I check my answer again, but I- Okay. Mm. Do you have, are you in the computer right now? No. On but, your phone? Yes, in my phone. Wait a minute. Do you have access from your phone? Because in that case, we can double check. I'm going to uh, send the answer here. Uh, uh, es que creo que escuché a alguien más que dijo lo mismo. They said something similar that um, the answer was not correct, but it is strange. Oh, you sell it for I mean, it's okay, that's all right. in the second but um, so no, number one was was that okay yes in the, um, yes the second is me sale mal uh, okay. The answer is we wouldn't, we wouldn't like. Okay. Con, con wouldn't, in this, le, reco we wouldn't. le recomiendo que lo copie y lo pegue, porque a veces a mí no me la toma por el apóstrofe. Entonces, 
copy pegalo. We wouldn't. Así lo dice. We wouldn't okay. like to, like stay, to stay, stay in this place. In this place. Vaya, veamos. Que a veces esta cosa se va a ir bien tricky. So. Ah, tiene razón. You are right. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. In this place. And period, nothing. It didn't work. Vale, un segundo. La, re la respuesta está bien. The answer is okay. Creo que solamente es cuestión de... Qué raro. Okay. Vale. Le voy a dar esta. I'm going to give you this one. And solo copié y pégale. Okay. Es la misma, pero creería que es el apóstrofe el que está dando problemita. So, vale, intente con esta. Solo copie y pegue. Y, y probamos. Tendría que funcionar. Should work. Lleva el punto. Si le sigue dando error, probamos con esta otra. We try with these other ones. Es lo mismo, pero sin el punto. Ay, me lo permite. Todavía le está, le está saliendo como incorrecto. No me permite pegarlo. No, no le deja pegarlo en el teléfono. Voy a probar ahora. No, no me lo acepta. No, ok. Me lo pone siempre mal. Ok, vaya, okay. déjenme reportar. Déjenme reportarlo y les confirmo mañana eh, cómo lo vamos a manejar. Entonces, qué raro. Pero no, lo deja, no la deja copiar y pegar. ¿O le sale mal todavía? Me sale mal. Ok, sí, entonces eh. es un error de algo más. Vale, exercise 4. Vale, dejémoslo así por el momento y veamos mañana. Déjenme ver si le tengo una respuesta para tomorrow. Ok. okay. So, okay. Igual ya probamos mis. Thank you. Thank you so much for okay. your time. Ahora sí, lo dejo ir a descansar. You know? <laughs> Let's do rest okay. a little. See you tomorrow, Sandra. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.